Opportunity for sure. All right, 7-4 alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod checking your forecast this noon. Hey, Michelle. Hey, I had to show some pictures. I was talking uh, about the crops yesterday. I mean, this is a tree. It's a magnolia tree, but this is from Tara in North Tonawanda. You can see the snow. I have everyone getting in on the snow. In fact, folks in the North Towns were like, I'm surprised I got in on it this time. Yes, you did. So I'm going to break this down for you. We've got a lot. We've got a five-way tie here. Sandboard, Niagara Falls, Williamsville, and Clarence Center four-way tie at five inches. West Seneca coming at number two, 4.5 inches. Derby, Snyder, and East Amherst coming at number three with 4.1. Also not shown because it's broke the record, but the Buffalo Airport officially broke that record at 4.1 inches. Now Lockport and Rapids coming in at number four, four inches. And Brain in the Rear, Cheektowaga, and Eden at 3.7 inches. A lot for who got the snow, and we'll keep you updated with that because we're not done with it just yet. 58 degrees is our normal temperature. 38, that's where we're going to make it. And we're not too far off right now. 34 degrees at the Buffalo Airport. So we're all around the 40s. We've got some 20s on the map, Wellsville and Cowdersport. It's quite the cold day, but things are going to shape up tomorrow and we'll be on the up and up. Spring will be back. I'm looking at seven super Doppler. We're seeing some snow. I want to widen the view though and take the clouds away. You're seeing those snow showers, but the reason I wanted to take the clouds away is I wanted to show you, we've do got some lake activity. So even though you're seeing this widespread snow moving off, we're not done with it just yet. I'll show you what it looks like on our hour by hour forecast. But I want to take a look at the roads real quick. This is uh, near Tiff Street. Not too bad. The roads are finally being cleared off. 290 at 990, you can't see on the camera, but still the roads are not too bad. Temperatures, like I said, on the up and up, we'll be seeing some 40s and then finally some 50s. Let's go through the hour by hour forecast, 5 p.m. So you're seeing those flurries as we head into the overnight southern tier in Pennsylvania, seeing some of those showers before they finally dry up. But then in the morning, we're dealing with some more lingering showers, so we'll call it mostly cloudy with a few showers. And then as we head into Friday, finally, you're seeing how things are finally drying up. We'll have a nice springtime day on Friday. We certainly deserve it. But we got to get through today. Those temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, it continues to be cold. Those widespread showers will turn into scattered showers. As we head into the overnight, we're dealing with some more showers, pushing primarily to the south, so we'll see about one to two more inches of additional accumulation for the southern tier. But it's cold tonight, upper 20s to low 30s for those overnight lows. Like I said, we'll be in the 40s tomorrow, a little bit on the up and up. Do not be surprised if you see some flurries going into Friday, mostly sunny back into the 50s. We're starting off the weekend wet, but in the 60s, but the temperatures dip for the second half of the weekend and going into the beginning of the week, continuing to be seasonable.